How to get a qualified photo for DV lottery for 2025. In this video, we'll talk about the essential steps to ensure your photo meets the strict requirements for the diversity visa lottery program. With the DV lottery being a highly sought after opportunity for individuals hoping to secure a US visa, having a qualified photo is crucial for a successful application. We'll cover everything from proper lighting and composition to the correct attire and digital specifications. Empowering you to submit a flawless photo that maximizes your chances of winning the DV lottery for 2025. Whether you're a first-time applicant or looking to improve your photo quality, this video is your comprehensive guide to achieving the perfect DV lottery photo. We make daily U.S. immigration and citizenship update videos to make your U.S. journey easy. Make sure to watch till the end and like the video. 1. DV Lottery Photo Requirements It is so lucky to be selected in the lottery that we should never miss the chance. It is important to learn about the official standards of a proper photo. As the DV lottery application is made online, you have to submit a digital photo. 2. General Requirements Size A minimum of 600 times 600 pixels and a maximum of 1200 times 1200 pixels with a square aspect ratio. Resolution. At least 300 dpi. 600 dpi is favorable. File size. Less than 240 kilobytes. File format. JPG and color depth. 24 bits. It must be a colored photo instead of a black and white one. Head measurement. From chin to top of head. 300,414 pixels. Measurement from eye level to the bottom photo edge, 336,414 pixels. If you provide a scanned printed photo, the print is supposed to be 2 by 2 inches and scanned with a resolution of 300 dpi. 3. Photo validity. The photo for DV lottery photo must be taken within the last 6 months before the application date. If your appearance has changed a lot after taking the photo during this period, you have to retake a new one that presents your current look. 4. Photo quality. The photo for the diversity visa lottery must be clear, sharp and in focus. A scanned photo must be clear of scratches, stains, blurring, folding marks or watermarks. Don't retouch it or change any facial features with the software. 5. Photo background. The applicant should be the only one that appears in the picture. The background should be neutral and light colored, such as white, off-white or light gray. The backdrop should be clear of any other items, persons, patterns, stains or uneven texture. 6. Pose and facial expressions. Applicants are required to show their whole face and forehead. Ears are not mandatory to be visible. You must face straight forward, so all facial characteristics would be captured, including the jawline and temples. Look at the camera and keep your eyes open. Keep a neutral expression which means you can't laugh, grin or frown because exaggerated movements would distort facial features. A natural smile is acceptable, but make sure to close your mouth and not show your teeth. 7. Lighting. The diversity visa lottery photo must show natural skin color and not have shadows, so the subject should be evenly lit. Avoid underexposed or overexposed in case of red eye effect, color difference and ununiform highlights. Take off your accessories if they cast shadows on the background, your face, neck and shoulders. 8. Headgear. Hats and head coverings are not allowed unless for religious or medical reasons. Remember to remove the headband or other decorations on the baby. If you have to wear it, please offer a signed statement from a religious leader. Or doctor indicating that you have to wear it in daily life or for treatment. Your face can't be covered in any case. 9. Hair and glasses. There are no specific requirements on hairstyles, it does not obscure any part of the face. You should tie it up, especially your eyes. Just carefully organize your hair behind you if you let it down. Glasses is prohibited in the diversity visa lottery since 2016. Because the reflection from the lenses would obscure the recognition of your eyes. And the frame would cast shadows on your face. How to take a DV lottery photo at home. Although it is suggested to use professional ID photo services in retail stores or studios, it is also acceptable to take a shot at home with your camera or phone if you have gotten acquainted with the photo requirements. Here are photography tips. Use a tripod or ask other people for help. If you hold your camera and take a selfie, it is not acceptable because it is too close to pose properly. 
You can set up your camera on a tripod or ask your friend or family to help. Then you can stand or sit one 1.5 meters away from it. Make use of natural light. Lighting is the most difficult part while taking DV lottery photo at home. Improper lighting would lead to shadows and influence exposure. The best solution is to find a well-lit room on a sunny day and take advantage of natural daylight. Dress properly. There is no specific requirement for attire. This is good news. You can wear casual clothes. Please note that uniforms, vests, off-shoulder tops or any other fancy dress are not recommended. And don't wear light-colored clothes that might blend into the background. Pose properly. Remember that you are not a model and not taking a fashion shot. Just pose according to the official requirements and try to be natural and relaxed. Make sure your head and shoulders appear in the frame. How to use DV Lottery Photo Tool The biggest problem of taking biometric photos at home is to check compliance. And that is what iPassport Photos does. How to use this tool and step-by-step -step guide video coming soon. Make sure you watch the full video, comment with, SI Photo. Let us know if you have any questions. Thanks for watching.